Law here, and I want to give you a few thoughts on class rules today. If you're like me, the first day of school, you sat your kids down, you helped them come up with a few rules that we wanted everyone in the classroom to buy into and use while they were in the classroom and outside of the classroom. I think that's a great idea. I think we need guidelines of what's expected of our students when we're in a common place like the classroom. It's part of society and again our classroom is a little fishbowl to try and test things out before we get into the great big world. So I definitely think a set of class rules or guidelines is a great idea. But I just want to take a little twist on them today and maybe we can use those classroom rules even better than maybe some of us already are. Instead of making a list of class rules of things we can't do, why don't we use them to build character in our students? That's part of our job, is to get them prepared for the real world. And I think if we influence students as they build strong character in themselves, it won't matter if they're in the classroom or at a job or at university or somewhere out in public, I think we're building strong character traits in our students and I think that's only gonna help them later on in life. So, my twist on this is to just pick a few character traits that we think we would like to see in our classroom and spend the year working on building those class, um, sorry, building those character traits instead of bombarding them with rules of things they can and cannot do. For instance, let's say we all decide we want to be careful in the classroom. Well, careful means that we're careful with other people's things, that we're careful with our own things, that we're careful with the objects and items that are in the classroom. We're careful with our bodies, which means we're careful that we're not stepping on people or sitting on people or running in the classroom so that we hurt everybody. So careful is a great character trait and we can help build that in our students by making that one of the things we want everyone to work on for the year. Or it could be considerate. If we're considerate, then we're considerate of other people's feelings, others' opinions, others' learning space, others' environment, others' work. If we're considerate of other people, then we're considerate of their feelings. And I think that that is a great character trait to want to try and build in our students. We could also pick polite. If we want everyone in the class to be polite, use their manners to say please and thank you and treat other people with respect. Again, we're building a character trait in our kids. And these all come with guidelines. They're expected um, behaviors that come with these words. But I just think it's a great way to help build those really great, strong characters in our students, which I really believe is gonna help them in the real world and help prepare them for life now and in the future to come. So I encourage you with your students, whether it's the first day of school or you're already halfway through the school year or nearing the end, it's never too late to pick one or two or five traits and have your really study what those words mean and have your kids practice them because then it's easy to say, well, was that polite? Was that considerate? Was that kind? Was that caring? And it allows our kids, instead of telling them, don't do that, it allows them to think, well, were my actions considerate or kind or caring? So I really think it's a great idea of something to implement in our classrooms. So go on out there and pick a few character traits to work on with your students please head over to my blog, sign up for my newsletters, and I'm always giving out lessons and tips and tricks and I wouldn't want you to miss out on them. I know that you can change the world one student at a time. You just have to go on out there and love them. Bye.